Jesus. Irgendwann denke ich mir was aus, was hier besser passt. Hello there, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. Today, with your second lesson on defenses from the guard, especially today still Gora Longa. So, uh, as last time, I uploaded the complete lesson plan as a PDF, which you will find in the video description. So first you should start your lesson, of course, with the warm-up and then a recap of all the things we've learned yesterday or last week. Just one thing to add. If you're, uh, if you're training with a partner, Stefan? So just one thing to add. If you train with a partner and maybe he throws the mandrito and you train your defense in Guadidi Testa, then after you've hit your opponent or your partner, then you also always want to include and train a retreat. So if you're in a position of strength, maybe you follow up with another mandrito or you just pull it through as a drito tramazzone. So just one more time. Okay, and you retreat out of range. Or maybe if it's a fendente more to your head and you go in there with the imbrocata, from here maybe you get the pressure and from here you can retreat. Or what did we have else? If it's even more irreverso, um, so from here the parry in Guardia d'Entrare, maybe you get parried outside and again it would be a mandrito. Or maybe, depending on pressure, you can go with a reverso, out of range, like a beating action. Okay, so just remember to train everything you've learned from the last lesson, but also with a retreat. Okay, now, our new lesson is defenses against thrusts. And I figured I show you three actions, because three new actions per training is a good number. Okay, the first we want to counter is a simple thrust from below, a stoccata. And what we do here, well, we can just parry it with a mezzo mandrito. So from here, we beat the opponent's blade to the outside. And then depending on pressure again, we can follow up with a certain action. If it's like this, we don't have any contact, then maybe just a slice with a reverse tondo to the head and then a retreat would be appropriate. So a little bit more fluent. This would be one possibility. You parry with a beat, a mezzo mandrito, a half mandrito, so your point still is online. And if you don't feel any contact, you can follow it up. You can let your parry uh, drive through and go into the reverso. Okay, just one more time. And as always, um, practice the appropriate footwork, which we also trained last time. Like here, an action in two tempi, a parry and a repost. If your right leg is in front already, then probably your left should gather behind, turn your body well behind your sword, and then extend for your repost to have the appropriate reach. Okay, but of course, after your mezzo mandrito, the opponent could still be in contact with your blade. And from here, the easiest thing to do is a punta diversa, a thrust from your left. So, the punta diversa, the nice thing about it, that it still covers this direct threat of the opponent's sword. If I would, in this situation, just parry with the reverso and not deal with the threat of the blade of my opponent. Let's go slowly. So from here, and I still have like the contact and I leave this blade, then I'm in danger. So from here, I always want to extend the thrust. And from here you could go out and now maybe beat with a reverso to the opponent's blade. So one more time. And then there's maybe pressure, so you can go outside here. Okay, 
And remember, gear up appropriately so your partner can show a little more intent than Stefan does here. Okay, next. The next thrust our opponent can throw is the imbroccata. So a thrust from above. And basically, the actions we can perform here are the same as we can perform against the stoccata. If we beat it outside, then just like against the stoccata, we can uh, throw the reverso to the head of the opponent. Remind yourself to always be gentle in these choreographed drills. You don't want to hit your partner hard at all because they are not allowed to defend themselves. So it's usually not fun to get hit, to get struck hard in the head if you're not to do anything about it. And you want to keep this drill fun for both parties so they can give you a lot of good, uh, a lot of good stimuli to train your swordsmanship. Okay, just one more time. Okay, but what if the blades are still in contact? Well then, just like against the Stoccata, we will throw a Punta Riversa one more time. But now it will be looking a bit different. So, once again, from here, and we have the blades in contact. From here, I want you to still thrust the Punta Riversa, but more in the manner of, you could uh, say it's a German Mutieren. So, you always, so this is the next little hint, you always want to attack where the guard of your opponent isn't. So if he thrusts a stoccata, a thrust from below, then naturally his hand, his guard, the strong of his blade, the forte will be low, and the weak of his blade will be up high. So we will thrust up high. If he thrusts an imbrocata, naturally the hand will be up high, the guard will be up high, so there might be, or there should be an opening down below. If I don't do this, in, if I thrust into the strong of my opponent, then it's fairly easy for them to parry the thrust. So one more time, if I try to go out here, there's no way I could direct the thrust uh, into Stefan's body. Okay, so actually these actions are pretty much the same and they of course can convert into one another. Last action for today. Like I said last time, uh, Manciolino said, a good parry should always be done stepping forward. Dallagocchio wouldn't agree here anymore because uh, the step back has not to be doubted. You can play with range. So if your opponent steps in with the, thr the thrust, you could withdraw and cut directly with the mezzo mandrito to the hand of the opponent, okay? And this goes for the stoccata as well. So if you're in your dynamic uh, footwork exercises, you can also train here to void with your body and counter them immediately. Okay. So we can play around. Stefan thrusts, I get out of range and strike directly in the same tempo to the opponent's hand. And that's why a step back isn't that bad. Okay, if you strike directly to the opponent, to the hand, then it's fine. If you just get out and try to then in dewy temporary post, then it's not that useful anymore. Okay, and then if you've got this, you can also train this with the actions of last week. So with these uh, strikes from above maybe, so you could still uh, train these actions. You can train your counter thrust in Guardia d'Entrare. Uh, they are up, <laughs> doesn't matter. And then sometimes there will be a thrust and then you can decide, okay? Of course, if there's no contact in the blades, you can still thrust, that's no problem at all, okay? Okay, I hope you will have fun with this lesson as well. Until next time, ciao. So remember folks, if you want to support this channel, leave a like, share this video and subscribe. You can also buy us a coffee or a fencing book. Just check out the links down low in the description. Until next time, bye bye. Okay. Wer hat die Kamera? Aber sie ist ja wasserdicht eigentlich, ne? Kamera ja. Ah ja, stimmt, alles was da.